Hey, Annika, thank you. Today we have travel expert Kyla Yu. She's here to talk about Belize and all her big secrets after she went and traveled there. Good morning. Hey, how are you doing? All right, so let's talk about Belize and Harvest Cave. Yes, definitely. So the Norwegian Prima just set sail this fall, and it's the brand's newest class of ships in nearly 10 years. It's like super spacious, and they have this really cool sailing to Belize where you can go to Harvest K. So Harvest K is an ultra exclusive private island in Belize, and there's gorgeous beaches, zip lines, and the world's second largest barrier reef. And everybody working on the island is a local. So just by visiting, you're supporting the local economy. Oh gosh, that cruise ship just looks incredible. Wow. Okay, so one of the benefits of being on the cruise ship, of course, is all of the food, the delicious food. Yeah, so they also have one of the first food halls at sea. So it's called the Indulge Food Hall. And the concept is that you could eat at 11 restaurants at one seating. So when you sit down at the table, they got this little computer screen. You order off it. You could order Chinese, Mexican, Italian, whole bunch of others. And when we ordered, our food came in like five minutes and it was so fast and fresh. And it's just like being able to sample the world's cuisine at one seating. Oh my gosh, the video, tapas, everything. It looks so delicious. Oh my gosh. All right, tell us about this race cars at sea. You wouldn't put those two yeah, together. Yeah, this was so much fun, yeah. <laughs> the um, Prima Speedway is the first and largest go-kart race car at sea. And it's three levels. There's like 14 tight turns. There's a quarter mile of straight racing. And 15 people can go at once and people of all ages. And it's actually quite competitive and you go pretty fast. I can't and believe I can't believe how far cruise ships have come. All right, Kyla, you are travel expert. Can't wait to see where you go next. Thanks so much for joining us this morning.